I love the Nintendo Switch. Not only can you play some of the best games released uh, from previous generations, but you can also play some of the best games released now with games like Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Octopath Traveler, and my personal favorite, Presumably Blade Chronicles 2. All of which, anywhere you want. The one problem is Nintendo Switch Online. I touched upon this in my previous video, but I really just wanted to dedicate a whole entire video to it because I want to express how much I do not like this service. As many problems as Nintendo has had in the past, at the very least their online service was serviceable. It definitely wasn't the best, but hey, we could always fall on the fact that, well, we didn't have to pay for it, so it's like whatever, it's free. Now we're paying for it, so what's the excuse now? Oh, I'm sorry, it's, it's $20. That's not an excuse for it to be the same exact quality as it was before we had to pay for it. At this current point in time, I still have never paid for Nintendo Switch Online. I have not played a single game online since it got released. And that's solely due to the fact that I don't want to pay for something that's not worth it. I've skipped so many games this year and last year due to some BS happening with it. I'm not going to let uh, it just being Nintendo uh, blind me to this idiotic service. So today I wanted to go over a sort of a list of things that Nintendo Switch Online needs in order for somebody like me to actually buy into it. And first on that list is get rid of the stupid app. This app is absolutely insane. How can we in 2019 only be able to voice chat with our friends on a, a console by only using an app? Just look at what you need to do in order to actually have voice chat and listen to the game at the same time through the actual system with this app. It's ridiculous. This shouldn't be a thing. Just look at Fortnite or Warframe and a bunch of other games that have had voice chat in the actual game on the Switch itself. It's not, it's obviously not hard to do. Nintendo just doesn't want to get out of their stubborn old ways. Next up is Super Nintendo games and N64, or possibly, if they give us the permission, GameCube games. Online, on their uh, NES online game service. There is no way I'm paying for a service that offers free games from 30 plus years ago. Virtual Console is pretty much dead, so I guess we have to stick with Nintendo's very slow trickling of the games again. The cool thing about PlayStation and Xbox is that they offer games at least made either last gen or this gen for absolutely free, so you can get your free copy of Knack when they're available on the service. Thing is, thing between them, is that those games are only available in that month, whilst NES is just building up a library. Dedicated servers. Either get some dedicated servers Nintendo, or just find a way to improve your Wi-Fi or your internet or whatever. We can't be having these internet connection issues constantly, over and over and over. We need dedicated servers, we need something to make these connections more stable. There's no reason one of the biggest, highest grossing franchises of all time, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, should be having laggy connections. Splatoon 2 seems to be reportedly getting even worse connection wise or just staying about the same, which it shouldn't because you're actually paying for it now. Lastly, and this is a big one, one of the biggest reasons to own this service, cloud saving. From now on, every single game needs cloud saving, I don't care what game it is. If you can't get cloud saving on at least your first party games, I'm not getting it. Bottom line. There's no reason Splatoon 2 shouldn't have cloud saving. I see people on my friends list that have over 800 hours in Splatoon 2 and to think that if they lose their switch, if they break their switch, all of that data is gone. Completely. 
all those hours are completely disappeared is just insane to me. They said that it's to prevent cheaters. I don't think not having cloud save is going to stop cheaters from cheating in that game. We need cloud savings for these games. Pokemon, another one, doesn't have cloud saving. People put tons of hours in those games. It'd be really, really bad if we didn't have cloud savings for the new Pokemon games. And again, you can't use the cheater argument because cheaters are going to always find a way to cheat in every game. And even if they do cheat, you can't just remove the ability to back up all of your save data just because a couple of choice few people decided that they wanted to dupe some Pokemon. So stopping one way of cheating isn't going to stop the other thousands of ways. Another thing that the Switch doesn't have is a messaging system. How in 2019, again, how in 2019 can we not have a messaging system in a console? I like to message my friends and see what their thoughts on certain games are that they're playing. See if I should pick it up or not. I can't do that on my Switch. All I can do is look at the games they're playing and look at how much hours they're putting into each game. That's it. That's all. There's literally no point to adding your friends other than doing that. There's not even an invite system either. It'd be so simple to just add an invite system where you can just I'm going to click this button, I'm going to send an invite to you so we can play some Splatoon 2 or so we can play some or we, or so we can play some Smash. That's all you have to do. It seems it seems like hackers are doing more for the Nintendo Switch than Nintendo. You're able to put custom themes on there, rearrange how the whole home screen looks, being able to back up your saves without Nintendo Switch online, being able to change your avatar to whatever you want. And before I forget, what is with the avatars? I could understand why we have a bunch of Mario ones, but do we really need every single ARMS character? Does, does anybody even play that game still? Now they have been trying recently, the game vouchers, finally a special offer. It doesn't really appeal to me due to the fact that I buy most if not all my games physical, but it is cool to have that deal there. Super Mario Maker 2 in particular is a very strong game to advertise Nintendo Switch Online because they got the whole online courses with multiplayer, simultaneous multiplayer. That's cool. That is freaking awesome. Is what I would be saying had they not come out yesterday and confirmed that there's no online multiplayer with friends in Super Mario Maker 2. Oh my god. Of course this happens right when I'm done editing the video, I'm exporting it, and then I hear this news, and then I have to come back the next day and add this section in. <sighs> you know, after memeing about it on Twitter, I I'm just not even surprised anymore. This is the kind of thing we had to deal with back in the Wii U era. And with especially with that uh, Super Mario, Super Mario uh, 3D World, they said they couldn't do, on or they didn't do online, but they could have done online in that game. It's insane. I. <sighs> this just adds on to the reasons why I will never, ever pay for the service. They need to fix this now. They need to fix this immediately. It's absolutely unacceptable. In 2019! Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> God, Nintendo's so frustrating. There even has been some data mine leaks of Super Nintendo games being on that Switch Online service, so hopefully we can get something. And with E3 coming soon, let's keep the ball rolling with some more improvements. 2019 is looking to be a great year for the Switch, and if they never end up actually improving their Switch Online, I have no problem playing all of the single player games that are coming out. So I'll leave the discussion open to you guys. Why did you guys buy a Nintendo Switch Online? Or if you didn't buy Nintendo Switch Online, why didn't you? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.